Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Truck 2 King of the Road version. And, um, of course, right after I stopped recording, I figured I'd come down around the loop and see what's going on down here. And sure enough, there's our truck right there. What? I have a green light. I saw the light turn. There it is waiting for us. I guess that's what happens. I hope it's not illicit because there's a cop car right there, so... There. And of course, I didn't look at the price. Let's see. I still have 22,000. No, 22,000 the truck. I have 64. Nine in cash. So, this truck must have been a lot cheaper than the Zill. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, Zill 60. I bet this was like 30 or something like that. I didn't look at it. But anyway, um, that's good. That's very good. I was expecting it to be the other way around, actually. So now I gotta find a repair station. And Try to fix up this truck. Well, I'm gonna run up and get that tanker and we'll go from there, I guess. Okay. Now, let's see if this truck has 10 gears instead of 9. Let's see. Venerable Cam ass. This could be fun with manual. <laughs> Just gotta go up through the gears. up to 8th gear, of course I'm not hauling anything. But we're not fixed up either, yet, with the upgrades. That's good, I should be able to afford pretty much all the upgrades, because this truck was a lot cheaper. That's what I wanted, a, a cheap semi, just so I could get some tonnage going. It's a beetle, isn't it? Uh, okay. Stop being stupid. I was messing around seeing if it would go in 10th gear. Yeah, it was time to stop. Okay. I guess there was a repair station right here, wasn't there? Better do that first. Nope, that's fuel. Okay, this goes to gas station 26. I hope that doesn't mean that it's illicit. How could it mean that it's illicit? I don't have a cargo scanner yet. Reverse. Okay, unfortunately I don't have these gas stations memorized at all, so... I won't know until I grab it. But it's worth, uh... Almost 5,000, so... Let's grab it. All right, let's see where we're going. Um, down by Southgate. Okay, I'll go right through the uh, shortcut here. I don't know how that stalled it out, but whatever. Hey, hit the right buttons, please. I have the controls set up a little differently with my steering wheel. The nice thing about this game is it recognized all the buttons on my steering wheel, so I have an extra four to play with that I didn't have before. I hope I don't get stuck in any muck with the trailer. That would really suck. You have to go through that little narrow part between the lakes eventually. Sure, you always have to, so uh, I don't know why I got stuck that one time. So far, we're doing pretty good. I guess I should show off the fact that we're driving a tanker. I can't see that way. <laughs> Shut it off a little bit. 
I thought that was pretty awesome when I when I played this first time, I don't know, a couple months ago when I finally decided to get it. And, uh, and I found a trail, a tanker on the side of the road. I was like, no way! A tanker! It's just a new concept for me, I guess. In this game, anyway, yeah. Like I said before, it's just amazed me because there was always that intro video where the, where the, uh, the trucks hauling the tank. Oh, I'm gonna be screwed. Yep. Third gear just spins and fourth gear can't move. Not first. I don't know what the trick is. I think it's because I go too far before I turn. And I'm always going to end up doing that because it's usually not a problem. Because you can get away with quite a bit before you actually die by falling in those lakes. You can, you can skim the edges a bit. Now that I expected to slow down on, that was a big hill. Okay, let's see what kind of upgrades we can get because we can afford them. Turn. I'm not used to it not automatically popping up. Plus. Thank you. Oh, reinforced chassis, good. Just the suspension. I don't know why we're bouncing all over the place, but forced engine. Off-road tires, that's just what I always get. Oil filter snorkel? Oh, maybe that'll help with the off-road stuff. Okay. Let's try it. Extra tank. I don't need ABS. What am I missing over here? Bulletproof glass. Okay, I'll be careful. No scanner. Can't get the paint. Cargo scanner. Let's see. Balance is at 64. This is costing me 36 so far, so we're pretty good. And uh, I'm all repaired up, so that's good. All I'm missing is bulletproof glass for me. Just gotta really fly through the gears with this truck. With any of the high gear trucks. I guess that's how the real things are though, too. Like if you're near a 18 wheeler in town that's starting from a stop, you can hear him. Boom, 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 just going right through the gears. Well, there you go. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm driving a uh, semi version of the Cam As. And it's the dark green one that you could never drive before. I think it, the uh, the higher driver that drove that was Max, I think. That might have been the white one, though. I don't remember. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, Mercury County line. Okay. That spooked me. Okay, here we are in Mercury already. That's not where we're going, of course. Whoa. Too busy worrying about the gears, I didn't make the turn. Let's slow down. Let's see, can we pull out of here? Yep. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> was not expecting that. This is a good truck. That's some issues off-road, I think, but... 
overall it's a pretty good truck. It made it it made it through that bad spot though pretty good off road. Let's hope that oil filter snorkel thing will fix that problem. That's new. <laughs> that light just turned green, so this guy better not be mad at me. Although what's the speed limit around here? Probably sixty. I want to get that special paint for the stupid speed traps. Forty. The bridge. Oh, I better slow down. Oh, and he got me. Okay, the bridge is a speed trap. We know this now. I need that paint. <laughs> I'll learn. Now we're going down the south gate, right? Yeah, just north of south gate. And that works because there's another filling station uh, where I can fill this tanker back up by foot. Of course, the thing is... The problem with these tankers is you can't pick up anything else. You can't you can't pick up another load in town, or you can't pick up a random hidden cargo. It's just the fuel that you can move around, and it's it's not really worth that much. Like I'm going down the south gate, and it's only worth about what five grand. So it's cool that you can do it, but it's it's not really worth that much. It's just an, another option. Especially, you know what that, what I'll use that fuel thing for is if I'm hauling something down to Southgate where there's no good shortcuts out of, then instead of picking up a load that a, with a competition with no shortcuts, instead I'll pick up that fuel tanker. That makes sense. And on the map also, I didn't really point it out, but on the map they show the different uh, fuel pickup spots like by Foothill there's one and there's one up north of Sandy Ranch which makes that road make sense that never made sense before and there's one uh, between North Harbor and Eastwood it looks like and there's one on the narrow St. Helena road so that's cool drop off this fuel, I'll have to fuel up too, because I'm getting low. Oh, you know what? Let's check this. Let's see if it has what I need. Ventilated brakes, sure. Oil additive, why not? Uh, it doesn't have what I'm missing, though, that I would want it. Whatever. What's that? Used, used Peterbilt. Oh, and it's the, the co that color too. Oh, I will have to get something like this. So there's used trucks all over the place. This is in a parking area. That's cool. Oh, 80. That's, that's pretty cool. I'll have to get myself a used truck someday. That was pretty cheap, right? Only 50 grand for a Peterbilt. Very nice. Just remember that's there. Very tempting to just grab it right away, but then I would get that Peterbilt right away, and then I wouldn't, wouldn't want to drive anything else. So, of course, used. Maybe it doesn't run as good. I don't. I'm pretty sure they didn't implement anything like that in this game, but you never know. There's a lot of new stuff. Yeah, they added a lot of hills here.
take me a little while to get used to this, these roads. Is this a traffic light? Yes. There's a pe new Peterbilt for sale, I think. I can't see that traffic light. And I still have it. Oh, there it is. It's opposite me, too. Let's see how much the new Peterbilt is. Oh, that's an F Star Eagle. 80. 80,000. New Peterbilt's probably over 100. And I mean, we got a traffic light for this one, too. That's a little excessive. That's for hire, right? Where am I going? Okay. I'm going right at the, uh, the turn off for South Gate is my field spot. I just remembered that I'm not going to a regular town depot. I'm going to a fuel fill-up area. Is that a Jeep? I couldn't tell because I was busy driving off the road, but it almost looked like the front grill of a Jeep, which would be awesome, like a Jeep Wrangler. I doubt it was, but it kind of looked like it. It was probably just one of those weird off-road trucks. Okay, here's the Phillips spot. Just in time, too, because I'm running out of gas. Okay, how do I drop this off? Just drive into it. Okay, that works. Okay, let's fill up. Hey, 2.7 per liter. Nice. Get a lot of fuel there. Okay, so now... Uh, I can't look at my map while we're doing this. Might be a little annoying to have to wait for your fuel, but it makes sense. You shouldn't be able to just fly a few through and just fill up. Of course, the first cheat code on the list when I looked it up was for filling the. Oh, to always have a full gas tank. There we go. Okay. Well, there's no containers around here. I guess there's a couple way up there, but uh, let's get some more fuel. Why not? I'll show you how that works. Then after that, though, I'll probably start doing other things because it's really not worth much. I guess maybe sometimes it is if it's far enough away. I really wish I could still move the camera view with the mouse. I know I gotta stop complaining about that, but boy, that's annoying. It was just such a useful feature. I guess maybe people complained that if they touched the mouse by mistake, it would move their view. I don't know. It's easy enough to fix. It's a lot better than not being able to change your view. One more song's worth, and then we'll call it a fit. Yeah, we're at almost 20 minutes right now. Hey, it's an original hard truck song. Gazelle, no thank you. Okay, now... I believe I just have to drive up to this thing. Oh, that's right. Check the repair station. I still need... What do I need? Bulletproof glass? I'm sure I'll be driving this for a little while. Uh, let's 
still can't get it in this one. Oh, headlight protection, that sounds good. It's pretty cheap, too. And, oh, there's the stealth body paint. We'll see how that works. Okay, now I'm pretty low on money again. So... Uh, better get to hauling. I think one more run around with this fuel tanker, and then we'll we'll have to be finding some trailers, to, other trailers to pick up, or um, hidden cargoes and stuff like that. Because so we got to get some money in. There it is. See the big giant tanks here? That's where you can fill up. That's all you do, you just pull up to, ooh, 22,000. I don't know where that fuel station is, but that's, that's a lot, 22,000. Must be pretty far. Let's pick it up and find out where we're going. North of Wincliffe. Oh, the one where the fuel's really expensive. That makes sense. Oh, did I just, yeah. Look at that, there's a little hazard picture on the map for where there's the problem with the road. Between Foothill and River Valley, that's the tunnel that's collapsed. Well, that's cool. That's nice. Now, now I know I gotta go around that tunnel. And yeah, I will be driving up that road. I don't really have a choice here. I usually don't like to drive on that road. But what? Oh, now the brakes on. the helicopters are not really loud in this game. Thunderstorm is pretty loud though, I hope it's not too bad. There's a bus again, that's cool. So I should check how heavy it is. Yeah, yeah, it's really heavy. As it should be, it's fuel. No, it's a full tanker. Eighth gear is still going uphill, that's pretty good. Especially since we're so filled up. Gotta go this way, that's right. I forgot. Alright, well, I think that's good for a video. Yeah, I'm way out of time. Alright. Alright, so, uh, that's good for a video, and I will see you guys next time. Later.